Hello Aries, and welcome to Blunt Saji Tarot. My name is Robin, and Aries, today we're going to do a general love reading, baby. Let's just talk about you and love here, Aries. Let's see what's going on, what's been going on. Nothing's been going on. Let's see if something's coming down the chute. Let's talk about you and love. Let's see what's taking place. What we got here? It is safe for you to love. So open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And past life connection. Ooh la la. So you have known each other before. All right. Well, let's see what's going on. Let's see if you've met this person or if you're about to meet the Marys. And Aries, right now on my channel, I'm doing a contest. Contest alert. Contest alert. So if you want to enter this contest, I'm giving away a whole frack, a whole whack of free readings. It's my way of saying thank you for your support, your kind words, your personal readings. I appreciate it. Um, so just like, comment, subscribe, get yourself entered, Aries. And on August the 4th, I will be replying to the winners, but I will also be posting them in the community section. So if you want to enter, you know what to do. Let's get down to business. So we got the temperance in reverse. We got the sun. So we got the ace of wands. We got the devil. This is passion. This is lust. This is intense chemistry. This is looking at someone and you know that you've known them before. You know, the windows of the eyes to the soul. And you see this person's soul and vice versa here, Aries. We got the two of pentacles. We got the king of swords. We got the six of wands. You could be dealing with the Capricorn, Leo. There's Aries. Sun for me is Aries energy as well. Um, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have Saggy energy, but they're upside down. One more card here. Yeah, seven of swords. Interesting. Okay, what's on the bottom? The chariot. Could be dealing with cancer. The chariot's all about forward movement. And someone getting in their car or riding because they can't wait to see you. Um, the temperance in reverse in the sun. I feel like you might have been losing patience with love. Or... Um, I just feel like you might have been losing patience. Maybe you felt like it was never going to happen. Maybe you just weren't happy with the options that were coming. Maybe you got really hurt in the past. The temperance in reverse can also be, you know, anger, frustration. Um, but I feel like you're just like, I just want to be happy. I just want my true love to meet me now. I'm ready. I'm healed. I've let go of my past energy. I am ready for the real thing. Enter the ace of wands and the devil. Enter this connection. <laughs> it could be very sultry, very seductive. Um... Three of Pentacles, a lot of communication, a lot of talking. Okay, what else? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you both want to invest in this. There's, whoa, instant connection with your past life lover here. Nine of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. You're both invested. Again, we have that element of fire. There's a, a serious physical attraction um, and connection between the two of you here, Aries. So, um there's a lot of communication. There could be a little sexting. There could be a little naughty talk. Um, but there's just a lot of flirting. Um, I do feel this is something that's new. So I feel if you haven't met this person, you're going to meet them. Like right now, it's like, <laughs> you know what I always feel like? Well, I don't always feel like it, but right now I do. Remember in the movie, you know, I know what you did last summer and Jennifer Love Hewitt's like standing like this and she's like, what are you waiting for? It's like, I feel like that's what you've been saying to the universe. What are you waiting for? I'm ready to bring my real love. And here they are. Enter real love into Aries life. The two of pentacles with the king of swords, it tells me that you're being, um, especially with that seven of swords, you're giving this person a lot of attention, Aries, they're giving it to you, but I feel you're being very strategic. You're not just coming out, like, let's say you fell in love at first sight, and you're not being like, yeah, I, I fell in love at first sight. No, you're keeping your cards close to your chest. You're, you're a little bit um, guarded, but you're just trying to get to know this person. And you're making the choice to do that. Your past experiences, maybe you rushed into a relationship. Um, or you didn't take the time to get to know somebody and their flaws before you really got your heart invested. But whatever that energy is, I feel you both are giving each other a lot of attention. There's a strong connection, but I feel you're being very strategic with your words, with the, we know, with how you flirt, with how you progress this forward. Um, I definitely feel like you don't want to rush things. There could be distance here because the chariot is there. There's the page of wands and the six of cups. There's your past life. So definitely known this person in a lifetime before, maybe even a lifetime in future future lifetime as well, right? Time is circular, not linear, like we perceive it. But either way, you got a life, you got a nice connection coming through. You got physical attraction, chemistry, passion coming through. Um, but I feel like you're keeping your cards close to your check, chest areas and you're just playing it safe um, because you don't want to get hurt. But you two are giving each other a lot of attention. So you're going to take this slow. That's what I feel. So that's what we got here. Let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say, baby. We'll get back to the tarot. Spirit guides, what does Aries need to surrender to here? The idea that you can fix someone. Ah, yeah, it is time for relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try and fix. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. I feel that's the past energy, right? Just um, focusing on the things that we can control. We can't control this person. We can't change that person. The only thing that you can change and control is yourself. So I feel like it's just a message to focus on you and the things that you can change. 
What is the current connection between Aries and the new person in their life, baby? Signs. Ah, oh, you might be getting some synchronicities here. So watch out for signs leading you to true love. This tarot reading is a sign for you, motherfucker. This is a sign for you, baby. All right, Aries, let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, baby, there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, where are you in a month? How are things progressing? We see you taking things slow, but you're pretty excited. You guys are giving each other a lot of attention. Um, I just think you're being strategic with, you know, with, with the way you're approaching this relationship. So we got the Ten of Swords in reverse, baby. Uh-oh. We got the Three of Pentacles in reverse. We'll see what that's referring to. Give us some more cards here. Give us, yeah. So there's a Three of Wands. Okay. Okay. Two more cards here, baby. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, that's what I thought. I just wanted to, okay, hold on. Let's get your cards out. We'll get down to business. Justice. You're getting, yeah, there's a six of swords. You really got burned in the past here, Aries. What the fuck happened? What did this person do? Um, but like the card, like we're going to end it similarly how we started it. It is safe for you to love. Not everybody is like that past person. Um, I feel you're not giving them attention anymore. You're letting that go. So the Ten of Swords is in reverse and the Three of Pentacles is in reverse, which means the past that was betrayed, that hurt you, um, that's gone. And look, at we see again with the Page of Pentacles. The past is the past. Can't change it. Can't control it. And there's the future. Um, looking you straight in the eyes, offering you a commitment, a relationship, something to progress forward. This could even lead to, to marriage with the justice here, or this could represent a Libra, or it could simply represent you're getting your karma. You're getting what you deserve. You've been truth. You've been honest. You've spoken and acted with integrity. And now it's time you have somebody in your life who's going to treat you the same way. Three of Wands is telling us you're going to get everything that you want, but you're not quite there. So I don't see an actual relationship here. What I see is the offer being on the table. You're putting the past behind you. I still see a little bit of caution and exercising, um, you know, keeping your hands close to your chest here, still Aries. But the Six of Swords tells us you're moving forward with this person. You're moving from rocky waters, this nasty past, to smoother waters. This person brings value to, their, to your life. They make you want to move forward. Maybe they're the first person in a while that's made you want to do that. But either way... You're going to get everything you want out of this situation. You're taking things slow. You realize that if you miss a step or if you miss a red flag or if you miss a flaw, it can cause some issues. So you're just taking this slow. You're going step by step, step by step. <laughs> We're in a new kids on the block song, baby. But you're just going step by step here, putting the past behind you and taking things slow, which is a beautiful thing. There's a strong bond here, a strong connection. I don't see physical connections. So I think you're holding off on that until um, your emotions follow through. So Aries, that's what I got, baby. If you like my style, if you like your reading, if you want to enter that contest, you know what to do. Get yourself entered. And let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. So again, again, remember it's tomorrow, actually August 4th is when I'll be announcing the winners. So if the card comes up, yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> if the card comes in reverse, the answer is a no. Spirit guys, what's the answer for Aries? Yes or no. Talk to us. Yes, Queen of Swords, baby. That's what I got, Aries. I really do wish you the best of luck. Until next time.